If it's in your news feed, it's in the feed with Amy and Sean. 1027 VGS. Margot Robbie is set to produce a film based on the board game Monopoly. Hmm. We hear it's going to be seven hours long and everyone's going to wonder, <laughs> why do we ever start watching this? <laughs> right. Just right. like the game. Uh, I, you know, the problem, the reason why Monopoly takes so long is no one follows the rules. Mm -hmm. If you land on something it, and you don't want it, it can go to auction. Like, everything should be picked up right away. Mm -hmm. And it should be a quicker game if you follow the rules, but mm -hmm. no one follows the rules. Do you yeah. do the... Uh, you land on free parking, you get the pot and the money in the middle? I don't think I've played Monopoly in 10 years. What's your What's your piece? I don't know. I I don't know. The top hat? The thimble? Uh, maybe the thimble. I uh, To be honest, the last one we played was with Jaden. He's probably five years old, and it was uh, WWE. So, like, there weren't... The WWE Monopoly. It was like the belt and, like, other things like <laughs> that. I haven't played Monopoly in ages. Yeah. Ages. Yeah. Well, I I, I do love Monopoly. I just haven't played. I love a good yet. board game. Yeah, yeah. But do you think your marriage could survive Uno? <laughs> we do. We play Uno. We uh we are very Uno. We play a lot often. Wow. Yeah. We're big Uno players. Yeah, man. But like you know, you get hit with that four wild yeah, and a draw four. two, draw two, skip your thing. Oh my and, god. And yeah, the thing is, like people, uh, the they they piggyback on it. So like, yeah. if you plus four, then somebody else plus four, then the next person plus is eight. And then so you go much. to sleep angry. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> really, you do. We go to Kansas, where a bakery owner there lost a four thousand dollar diamond ring while making cookies. Her name's Dawn. She believes it could have fallen into the dough last Friday. She's offering <laughs> free cookies as a reward to anyone who finds the diamond ring and has warned customers to be cautious wow. before biting into her cookies. So either she's going to have to pay a dental bill, which is going to be very expensive, uh -huh. or she's going to sell a whole bunch of cookies while people are like trying to find the diamond. I've got a diamond cookie. <laughs> yeah. da -da 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 -da. Man. Uh, would you give it back then? You find yeah, for sure. You would? Mm -hmm. Now, how about if you didn't know the story and you just found a diamond ring inside? If you didn't know the story, you'd be like, wow, this is crazy. This is great. Wow. Yeah. I win. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I win life. Uh huh. We go to North Carolina. Now, of course, I famously broke my foot when I was 12, tripping on a rotten KFC corn on the cob in the street. Uh, this woman is competing with me, though. She's suing the city of Charlotte after slipping on a sandwich at the Charlotte Douglas International Airport. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I don't know how one slips on a sandwich. Uh, but yikes, uh, the woman slipped on the sandwich after exiting a flight in November 2022. She had to undergo painful tests, medical procedures, and extensive rehabilitation due to her injuries. I was checking out of Target the other day. At, I think it was like eh, around Easter. And this woman who was in front yelling at the cashier, the kid who was just standing there doing his job, and she was waiting for management. Management comes over another kid uh, and she is screaming at her because there was a hot green uh, uh, hula hoop on the ground and the lady said that she if she wasn't looking down she would have tripped on the hula hoop and there are people need to do a better job at picking up and I'm like yeah, peripheral vision like I mean yeah you don't have to be looking down yeah. to see how and she was just screaming at this, this these poor kids and I'm like Man, she honestly, just wanted to. She wanted to trip. And honestly, she should have tripped and sued. Like honestly, it cost herself a lot of money with her big mouth. <laughs> yeah, uh, Florida woman recently tipped two servers at a Mexican restaurant one thousand seventy seven dollars because she believed the rapture was going to occur after Monday's eclipse. <laughs> She then demanded her money back on oh, Tuesday when the world didn't end. Oh, my gosh. This, oh, sweetheart, you are not going with the rapture. Wow. <laughs> okay, you're going to be sticking around. Wow. Witnesses left the restaurant shaken by her behavior. They did not refund the money because she confirmed the tip to a manager. What a dope. Yep. Ugh, people That's, are yeah. terrible. Speaking Sometimes of, the customer is not always right. Uh, no, no, not at all, and she's certainly one of them. Finally, we go to Jacksonville, Florida, where bride Aubrey Day recently uh, yeah, had her big day. Uh, she was cheering, and uh, everyone was uh, very excited, and she, she grabbed the arm and ran down the aisle and headed out, and the attendees started laughing because she picked the wrong person. She did not tr run down the aisle with her husband. Wow. Um, hello. Wow. <laughs> Lose. <laughs>